I'm Paul with Wave Connects. I'm going to show you a cost-effective installation of our home theater. So when we first got this house, we moved in and redid the floors, and everything else. But this was just a uh, formal living room area. Um, never really got used. It's comfortable and cozy, but didn't have any purpose for being in here. So we decided to change that around and install a home theater. I've got my projector up here that I built the box around to keep out the noise and to make it so it's less of an eyesore. And we've got our recessed 120 inch drop down screen from the ceiling up there with a the 5.1 all in ceiling speaker system so both from the corner. And uh, it came out pretty good for control. I've got the RTI T3V. This also controls the other living room. And this room, which I'm calling the theater here, which if you can see, just kind of took a picture of the room and put it on the remote. Choose that. And then we choose cable TV as the source. The lights dim, the screen drops down, the projector turns on, all the equipment's in there, and we're ready to watch our movie. I also have control of it with my iPhone. So to use this, we open up RTI panel, and same kind of setup, we got theater, and then uh, cable TV, whatever you want to do, you know, guide and kind of go through it this way. Um, the connection speed's pretty, pretty minimal and everything else, and it works pretty well. And when we're done, we can turn it off by pressing the power button. That didn't do it. There you go. I've got my screen here, ordered from Monoprice. It's the uh, 120 inch 16 by 9 recess with the in-ceiling kit. It's about 700 bucks or so, plus shipping, 850. And then the contractor grade speakers are probably you know, $50 each or something or less. Now we're in the attic space above where the screen's gonna be in. Got a pipe here and I got some wiring. Um, this bay right here is where the actual screen's gonna be cut into place. And uh, first thing before I cut, I'm gonna go ahead and take that and clear out all this messy insulation so it doesn't dump down on my head. I've also already measured this gas pipe right here. So I've got about six inches of clearance above where the screen's gonna be, so it'll fit just fine. And these wires have enough slack, I can just kind of work around them. I'll start to clear it out. <clears throat> I should probably have a mask on too. It's all the dust. But I don't. So. These are the two brackets that are going to hold the projector in place here. Just a couple of 2x4s and holes. Then the mounting hardware that came with the, the bracket here is going to go something like that. Up in the joist. And we'll be using it holding the screen up like this. Something like that. Moving right along, we've got the holes all cut for the fronts. One, two, three, eight inch speakers in there. And the hole is all cut right here. Let's see right up into the attic. Brackets are in place. And we're ready to get this thing up there. The front three speakers are in. They all have pivoting tweeters pointed towards here. And they just went in like standard speakers with the tabs and screws and really, really straightforward. Anybody can do that with a screwdriver. I am putting this screen up solo. So I took the day off to take care of the baby. I've got the uh, ladder here rigged up like so. And this rope hoisting it up tied to that doorknob on a beam that's up there. 
I'm gonna go up in the attic and try and uh, piece together that side and come back over for this one. Ends up now, we've got all three front speakers in. I phased out where the projector was and I found the distance of 12.1 inches for our projector by going to uh, projectorcentral.com and using their calculator pro. Tell it the screen size, 120 inch screen, and it tells you the uh, throw distance. So we've got that mounted. I kind of custom rigged a little mount up in the attic and then the wires coming down. I am fishing the wire right now for our subwoofer that's going to go in the corner. Subwoofer wire here, we're just using standard RG6 coaxial wire. We're going to trim it off with a standard coax wall plate and then use a uh, F connector to RCA adapter wire from the wall plate. That'll make sure that it doesn't get knocked off the plate when we're moving the couch and stuff like that for cleaning. And then I've got this little side cart here, pretty handy, but uh, it'll just make it into a standard double gang ring. How's that go? Like that. Sticky tape. We've got our 12 inch subwoofer back hidden behind the couch there in the corner. All the wires are ran through the attic and the equipment is in the garage here. We've got our receiver, cable box, Apple TV, and so on. The projector up there is kind of a bit of an eyesore from the rest of the house and it is rated at 37 decibels so when you're sitting down in the couch you can hear that thing humming and it's a little bit annoying. So here's the box I made. A couple pieces of pine and some trim and some hardware from the door cabinets. Uh, you got these little tabs here and the metal clamp that's installed up on the ceiling that it's just going to pop into place. I've got a little safety latch here with a hook in the ceiling just in case it does fall. It doesn't fall on anybody's head. But it's pretty sturdy up there, surprisingly. Uh, it's got a little soundproofing in there. Pretty standard. Room on this side for the air intake. And the hot air shoots out there. It works out pretty well, actually. And there's the box, much better looking than a uh, projector. This feeder system is kind of, a, as I said, it was cost effective. It's for my own house, and that's all we're really trying to do. It's not really a designated theater room, so it's kind of more of the living area with the theater as a, as a benefit. If I was doing a designated theater, or if I wanted to kind of dump some more money into this project here, uh, some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing is, uh, let me turn the lights on here. We're going to get the fireplace onto the remote control by changing out the valve and doing some setup with the 12-volt trigger on the RTI stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing more of a whole house lighting solution as well. I've already got the alarm system on the remotes, um, which we can access remotely through the iPhone application. Um, I'd probably add a couple more speakers, make it into a 7.1. Probably do our last house we had a uh, transducers and seat shakers built into the couches which are pretty neat. But for this setup right here, you know, we're not really looking for a high-end theater, just kind of something that works and something that we can watch movies and enjoy and have a surround sound and it sounds good enough that, that it's good for us. So for the cost, we're all set and uh, yeah, we're happy with it. So see. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.